<laughs> we are Radio Cats all in your ear hole. We're in the Duddy <laughs> Tour. <laughs> we got the video cast. Lights, camera, action. Today we're talking about raising teenagers. Yeah. As you all know, DI Radio Cast is introducing a new teen show to our lineup for 2008. As of December 29th, Whatever. DI Radio Cast will air its first original teen program. Now, you have Little Mama, who is the voice of the young people, and Lady B and DJ C Chaos who are the sound of the young people right here on GI Radio Cast. And then we got Soldier Boy and he tell them. You know what? The one of the important reasons why or one of the reasons why it's important for us to have a program such as this is because of all of the Things that teenagers go through And while we might say oh they don't go through nothing Think back when we were younger Man we it was a lot of things That was going on that we couldn't Converse with our parents about because When we said it to our parents it was like no You're a child And live like a child Stay in a child's place Yeah You're but in, in the meantime heard. In the meantime we were in the stairwells Getting it in We were? I'm not sure We were? I ain't gonna tell you no lie. I sat on a couple of stairwells. Wow. I don't know if I sat on the stairwells. I mean, I might have been on top of my mom's car on the hood. And but if we had somebody, I mean, we always heard, we always, they talked about teenage pregnancy and stuff like that, but they always talked about it as if it were something so far fetched and it couldn't happen. Yeah. Now I'm sure all of us All of us over the age of 24 Have had friends Or have probably even been The person that got pregnant In the 10th 11th or 12th grade Nowadays kids are getting pregnant in grade 7 Okay We talked about that a couple of weeks ago We said um how The new, the new childbirth rate Or yeah. childbirthing age yeah, has lowered. <laughs> Come on. So it's imperative that parents, and not only parents, but the adult figures that are in these children's lives, have conversations and have open conversations that address real issues. Let's stop wiping every, swiping everything under the carpet and like actually talking real deal. You know what I mean? Give you it to might the raw. Be right about that. But when you talk into a teenager or an comprehend? adult figure is talking to their child, which happens to be a teen, they're never going to want to be wrong with it. When son, daughter, blah, 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 this way it is, this way it goes. No. But mama, but daddy, ain't no buts. What I say go, you in my household and you abide by my rules. If you don't, you can get the out. And no, that's you, what happens, to, right? You have to, but I, I understand that because I, I do, I do get stubborn. I know I get stubborn, mm -hmm. but I do listen. Now I ain't gonna let you know I'm listening to your stinking ass. And you ain't gonna have that satisfaction, whether you a child, or, whether you a child or a grown up. You ain't gonna have that satisfaction. Back around, be like, fuck you, right? Child, but, go to your room. <laughs> <laughs> go to but your room. I'm, I'm, I'm I don't gonna, care if you know two plus two is four. I said it's seven. Go to your room. I'm going to internalize that shit. <laughs> and a couple weeks later, I'm going to regurgitate that and make it sound like it's you mine. You said regurgitate. Yes, I'm, I'm going to throw that shit back out. <laughs> and I'm going to make that shit sound like it's mine. That's very intelligent. <laughs> That's very. And then they're going to be like, that sounds so familiar. But bitch, you can't say shit because I'm the grown up. <laughs> okay, so I mean, you the grown up, so is it gonna be? A, where's the point of view when the grown up is gonna, unlike you, admit that they're wrong? Cause I know I'm gonna have to have these grown man talks I with mean, my sons no, in a you minute. Have to, you have to, you have to, you have to be able to say you have to, whether you're in a, whether you're you're dealing with children or you're dealing with adults, you have to be able to step back and look at the situation and say, you know what, I understand your point of view. And 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 then you do the Africa Allah. However, <laughs> however, 
I understand your point of view, but what I'm trying to push across is that blah, 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 blah. Now, you tell me what your opinion is of that, and we can go from there. But How can we come to a clear understanding and agreement of what this should be? But there's a problem. These kids ain't listening. So... Maybe you can, not, you maybe can have the child listening. that's going to act like, okay, mommy. No, and maybe, in the back of maybe head, they're like, not, what the hell Yeah, ever? maybe they're like me too. Because when I was a kid, I used to do the same shit to my mom. Like, yeah, okay. And she would, she would get so frustrated. But guess what? When we out in the streets, that shit that she said be ringing in my ear. And I'd be like, yo, my mom's told me about this shit. I ain't fucking with you. Oh, I knew better because Estelle Williams would choke the shit out of me. But I ain't she would wrap the nothing. belt around my neck and drag me through the through the through the through now, the hall. Well, maybe all not, that. maybe not but that far. But, but like this, like she this. she let me know what was right and what was wrong, and there's consequences. So I don't think, I think since the parents are teenagers too, along with the teenagers, that they don't know the consequences because they haven't lived for life to educate a teenager. When 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 you got a kid that's 13, 14, but you're a 24 year old parent. A twenty-five-year-old parent. What, what have you really experienced? What they have, you pay bills, and that's all you know. <laughs> that's all you know. So I mean, you still going through shit. So best come to a a, a coming ground with that teenager. Well, y'all. So can basically, re- what yeah. it is is y'all both learning at the same time. Yeah. Now that means that there has to be there has to be some type of authority figure, somebody that you look up to. You have to have some type of mentor, some older woman, older man yeah, yeah. that you can converse with and 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 bounce ideas or thoughts off of, so that when you go and talk to your children, or maybe even look at your own life and see what mistakes you've made to help and assist them so that they don't make the same mistakes. Yes, I'd be like, yo. I know I was 12 years old when I had you and I was a little fast in the ass. And now look at it. I have nothing to show for it. Yeah, I might have a GED or I might have been able to go back to school, but I had to I had to I had to rely on people to take care of me. I haven't been a woman. I haven't been a man. I don't know what it is to be that person, to be responsible because because I've always allowed other people to take all my burdens. Now, if you if you like like Caribbean people, no man, we're not no, we're not taking that. You want to go be a grown man, you want to lay down and do what you do, get the fuck out of my house. Okay. Yeah. So but now you have to figure it, it out. Yeah, yourself. it's a little different in America in 2007 <laughs> through 8 when, okay, mama, you going to tell me to hit the streets? So that's what I'm going to do. Now I'm going to be a stripper. Yeah. So I'm is be that a prostitute. Right? You, you, you could do that I'm back I'm going to go in the trap because everything that, everything, that I, everything that I see glorifies this as a means and a way for me to get money. I want to so be now, Jesus. So now, you know, it comes it comes full circle. Like we're not having conversations about about right decisions. We're not having conversations about finances. We're not having conversations about education. We're not having conversations about anything. We're allowing our children to be raised by the TV. Hell yeah, I'm TV- listening to the same music my son listened to. Hey, Shawty. Hey, Junior, I got that new Jeezy album. Come listen to it with daddy. I mean, I, no, it's. Not, I don't think that it's a problem with you having. I don't think it's a no, problem. No, not listen to it, but they're not teaching the it. That, that that's but, not what it is. But what 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 it is 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 a problem when there's no conversation about comprehending the information that's being said. That's the problem. We're not talking about the comprehension behind the words that's or what the I'm visions saying. that's being. You dealing seen. with somebody that's still learning what's real and what's not real itself. So how I, can I I'm teach thinking you? They probably don't even know what it is to comprehend because they themselves. Let me, don't let me give an example of something. Okay, I'm 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 out in the streets the other day, you know, at the 191 building, and this lady she walks up to me and asks me comprehension, how to get into the building. Probably what the elevator say into the building, but not that being the point. The point is, I hear probably 15 feet 15 feet behind her, Mama. Oh, come on, little Sarah, come here. So I'm thinking little Sarah going to be like a little 12-year-old child. Little Sarah, probably about 13, got the little ponytail in her head with the rubber band, but she got some stiletto pumps on. What? Yeah. T.I. Radio Cast, get your mom right. 